Welcome back to your MySQL tutorial series. This video we are going to be talking about the decimal data type. The decimal data type is similar to the int data type in that when you use it for math, it maintains its precision. The difference between decimal and int though is that the decimal data type allows numbers after a decimal point. So for example, we could store 10.5 inside of a decimal data type column. When you create a decimal column, you are going to define a certain number of digits that are allowed. So within here, you're going to put two numbers. The first number is the number of digits you can allow inside of that number. So let me erase this to not cause any confusion. And let's say the number is five. That means within one row for this column, we can store a number that has up to five digits. The next number after the comma is the number of those digits that come after the decimal point. So for example, we could use the number two. Now, if we use these numbers, on a column, the lowest number we could store would be negative 999.99. There's a total of five digits, two of which are after the decimal point. The highest number would be 999.99. Now this number here is known as the precision. This number is known as the scale. Now the max values for these, this one is 65, and this one is 30. And obviously this number is going to have to be bigger than this number. <laughs> there are actually a couple of different names for the decimal data type. For example, it can also be named des or dec, I guess, I don't know, numeric and fixed. But in general, you're going to want to use this name. I think these are more for portability when we're talking about working with other databases. Now, why would you want to use the decimal data type? Mainly, it's for mathematical stuff that you need to maintain precision. So for example, if you were working with money, you are going to want to use the decimal data type. This is in contrast with the data types that are used for estimating, which we will be discussing very soon. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. If you've appreciated these videos, be sure to click like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next one.